Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be ranking all of my cream blushes. Now over the last couple of months I feel as though the popularity for cream blushes has really risen. I know myself my collection has gotten like <laughs> 10 times bigger than what it used to be. I swear I only had like one or two cream blushes, now I've got 12 sitting in front of me that I'm going to be ranking. Most of the products in front of me are drugstore and the way I'm going to be ranking them today is by their formula, their finish, their packaging and their shade range. Before we get into ranking the blushes, I just want to let you know what brushes I like to use with cream blushes. So a duo fiber or synthetic bristle brush is going to be your best friend. My favorite is this one by Sigma. It's the F53 Air Contour Slash Blush Brush. So this one here has the duo fiber bristles and they're not extremely densely packed, which you will see the other brushes I use I don't mind it when the brushes, sorry, the bristles are densely packed. This one I find is a really nice beginner friendly cream product brush. Wow. <laughs> because it does apply the product very lightly. It is a bigger brush, but I quite like that when it comes to blush because you can apply your product all over. I like to stipple to blend, no rubbing, none of this. We pat lightly to blend and because the bristles are so light it just blends it out beautifully. Another one by Sigma from the Air range is the F80 Flat Kabuki Brush. Now this one is designed more for foundation but it is a lot smaller than the Contour Blush Brush. So you can be a bit more precise but you are going to get the same result because it's got the same bristles. Some other brushes I really love and these ones are more affordable, they're by Real Techniques. First up is the Sculpting Brush. So this one is cut on an angle, but as you can see the bristles are much more dense than the Sigma brushes. So everything is much more tightly packed in here, but you're still getting that beautiful result by tapping the product onto your skin. Because this one is angled, it also works really well for cream bronzers because you can get right into your cheekbone there. And then another brush by Real Techniques is the Expert Face Brush. Now I'm pretty sure the color of the brush is different. This one is just really old, but it's fantastic quality and it still works as good as the day I got it. And this one is just a bit smaller and precise than the other Real Techniques brush and the other two Sigma brushes that I showed you as well. So you can see here that it is a little bit thinner and it doesn't have that angle to it. So again, really good for bronzer or blush because you can get right in the areas that you want the product without it diffusing too much. Another really good option when it comes to cream products is it using a sponge or your fingers. Now let's start at the bottom with number 12 and in that place is the Morphe 2 Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse. Now the reason I don't like this one is mostly because of the formula. The mousse, like it's just weird. I do really like the shade of it here, but I find that it doesn't have a lot of pigment. And my personal preference is I like a lot of blush. I find that it just adds a lot of life and color back into my skin. So with this and its lack of pigment, I find I really have to build it up and the mousse texture just doesn't build that well. Now I understand that the Morphe 2 range is targeted more towards the younger generation, so maybe it would work better for them with the lack of pigment, but for me it was just a no-go due to the formula. And it's also a really tiny, like, surface. It's hard to get a brush like this in there. It's just too big, it's too big, so. At number 11, I have the BYS Lip and Cheek Glow Sticks. Now, these only come in the two shades. We've got Peach, which is the pink, and Natural, which is the peach shade. Now, I put these at the bottom because I'm still quite unsure about them. I really love this pinky shade here. The formula is quite nice. I like to use it with a big brush take a little bit off and dab it on. It leaves a beautiful, beautiful glowy finish. It's quite sheer, but pigmented at the same time. I don't really know how to explain it. Like it's a thin formula, but it just doesn't last. 
It doesn't last on the skin. Within a few hours, you're like, where's it gone? What's going on here? So it is a bit of a bummer because it's such an affordable option, but mm, it just they just look cheap as well. Like it's just got a sticker around it that's like bubbling up. Cheap plastic. I don't know. Yeah. I'll just leave them there. Coming in at number 10 is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pinkgasm. That's a lot of gasms. <laughs> I don't get that many gasms from this blush. <sighs> wow. Anywho, the reason I have this so far down in the list is because, okay, it is so freaking expensive, all right? It is super expensive and I'm pretty sure there's like two shades to choose from when it comes to the blush. Correct me if I'm wrong. I get a little bit confused with these products because I think they've got like a contour, a highlighter and two blushes. I'm not really sure. But anyway, this shade here is also extremely shimmery, like extremely shimmery, too shimmery for a blush. It does leave a great glow, but it's like, whoa, ah, too much. <laughs> you are only getting 12 mil of product. I find a lot of the product gets soaked up in this stupid sponge as well. I hate this applicator. Like, is anyone actually putting this onto their face? For me, I would put it onto the back of my hand, dip my brush or my sponge in and then apply it. I don't know. I just don't think you need to be spending that kind of money on something that doesn't have such a good shade range and is so shimmery. Like, I just don't get that. I don't get that. It's not for me. It's not for Mo. Coming in at number nine is the Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint. And I have the shade Tango. Now, this is a really beautiful formula. It's nice and sheer. It works really well applying with your fingers. And it does give a nice glow to the skin. But it only comes in the two shades. So that is the reason why it's so far down on my list. This is what the shade Tango looks like. And as you can see, if I continue to blend it out, it is quite sheer and you can see the glow. It is a really nice formula, but it just loses points for having a smaller shade range. Next is the Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush. Now this does have a very similar formula to the Emco, but it has a few more shades in the range to choose from. This here is the shade 20 Rose Flush, and you can see it does have that same glow as the Emco. And when I blend it out, it does sheer quite well. And again, this is one that applies really well with your fingers. It's an all right price, but you can usually find it on sale, which is always a bonus. With the Emco and the Maybelline, I find that their longevity is also quite similar. You do get a full day's wear, but that glowy hydrated look does tend to fade away throughout the day. Next, I have the NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint Mousse. And this is in the shade Baby Doll. Now this one's packaging is quite different to the rest because it has a doe foot applicator. What? Now again, this isn't something I would tap onto my cheeks and boy am I glad I didn't do that because it is so pigmented, so pigmented. Now again, it is a mousse formula, but unlike the Morphe, it's got a lot of pigment. I also prefer the application method as well. So this shade does dry down to be quite matte. This is the shade Baby Doll. It's super bright and I did purchase this online so I wasn't expecting it to look like this. So I did want to pick up a different shade because they do have quite a few in the range which is very nice. This one has really great longevity because it does dry down but you do have to work quick with it. So I like to go in with it on the back of my hand, use my sponge for this to shear out that color even more and quickly quickly apply. Coming in at number six is the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush and I have the shade 140 Romance. Now what I like about this is it has a decent variety of shades within the range. There are only six to choose from, but they're all pretty different. It's not like you've got three similar peaches. It's like, mm. Now this one here has a similar formula to the Maybelline and the Emco, where it's got that beautiful sheer finish, that gel-like texture, and it does leave a beautiful sheen to the skin. So this is the shade here. And if I continue to blend it out, you can see how much it shears. 
Now this one is on the pricier side, same with the NYX Sweet Cheeks, they're around the $22 mark. But the reason I have the Milani in front is because I prefer that gel texture and that beautiful sheen finish. And it does have a little bit bigger of a shade range than the NYX. Next I have the Mecca Cosmetica Weekend Skin Blossom Hydra Cheek Tint and Illuminating Balm Duo. So this is actually what I am wearing on my cheeks today. As you can see, it has the most beautiful sheen. And this is because it's a balm formula. So it is a little bit tacky, but it leaves such a beautiful wet look glow. This does come in two different shades as well. And on the other side, you get a highlighting balm, which just adds to that beautiful glowy finish. Now this one is pretty pigmented as well, but because it's a balm, again, it shears out just beautifully. I also like this packaging. It is similar to the Morphe, but it's bigger. And because it comes off of this, you can either get your fingers or your brush or your sponge right into that, no problems. I find that this blush has really great longevity and the glowy finish stays with you throughout the day because it's that balm texture. Number four on my list are the e.l.f. Putty Blushes. Now these are a newer release in Australia and they are fantastic. We don't have the entire shade range, which is a bit of a bummer, but again, there's quite a variety within the range. These come in the pot packaging, but much like the Mecca, they have a nice wide opening. <laughs> So you can get your brush in there very easily. Now I do prefer this shade here, Bora Bora, over the other shade I picked up called Turks and Caicos. Again, I just love that really bright pink blush. It just, mm. I do think the title of putty blush is a little bit deceiving. When I think of a putty, I do expect it to be like a bouncy, but this is definitely just a plain old cream blush. I feel as though it has more of a cream to powder finish, so it does dry down more on that matte side rather than extremely glowy. They do have a lot of pigment when you first apply it, but they do blend out beautifully that they don't look too bold or striking on your cheeks. It's a very beautiful formula, it's nice and affordable, and they are definitely a dupe for my number one blush on this list. In the number three position, we have the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. Now these ones have the squeezy tube packaging, but they are a little bit different where they have like a plastic nozzle. Now I originally thought I would prefer the more muted shade Pinched, but again, I am just obsessed with the bright, bright pinks. So this shade Bubbly is right up my alley. So here we have Pinched and here we have Bubbly. As you can see, they are very opaque and give a good amount of color. But like all cream blushes, once you shear them out, they just look beautiful on the skin. What I love about these is they give a really nice wet look. Like if you wanna look fresh, glowy and dewy, these are the way to go. In Australia, we don't have a very good shade range. We only have the two to choose from, but I know in the US there is a bigger range. This blush applies beautifully just using your fingers, just tapping it onto the cheeks, gives such a beautiful, glowy and refreshed look. It's a very no makeup kind of a blush because it does have such a beautiful glow to it. Number two on my list is the Savvy Cheek Duo. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you would know I loved the little individual Savvy blush, which is a home brand of Priceline. So you can only get it here in Australia, but they stopped making the little individual ones. I was devastated, but then they released the blush in this duo. So you get a highlighter on top, and a blush down the bottom. Now the shade is a little bit different to the original one. I actually have two of them here, but what I love about this blush is first of all, it's super easy to use. You could just dip your brush straight in. It has the perfect amount of pigment. Like you don't need to be like, oh, I need to be careful. I need to apply a little bit. Oh, I need to apply way more. It is just perfect 
straight away. It does have more of a matte finish and it is extremely long lasting. For a product that is less than $10, it performs so well. I just think that it is so easy to use. If you are new to cream blushes, I think this is a great beginner friendly option. As I said, it's got the perfect amount of pigment. It leaves a matte finish. It's long lasting. It's easy to use and it's affordable. Like, come on. These are the two shades here. This one is my favorite. And then my number one cream blush from my entire collection is the Fenty Cheeks Out in the shade Strawberry Drip. Similar to the Savvy, it's got the perfect amount of pigment. You don't have to worry about using too much, using too little, building it up. Oh shit, what have I done? It's just, it's perfect. It builds beautifully. And the color is just perfect for my fair skin. And as I said, I love the really bright pinks and this is just, oh, it's just amazing. Let me give it a swatch for you. And although it does look quite bold in the pan, again, it just shears out very nicely. It does have a little bit of a glow to it. Do you see that there? So it just gives your cheeks this really beautiful natural flush. It's not extremely glowy or dewy though that it doesn't become long lasting, which is what I love. I actually wore this blush on my wedding day and it lasted the entire day. It doesn't move any of the product underneath as well, which is something I should mention about all of these blushes really. I can't stand when a cream product moves the makeup underneath. None of these blushes do that. It's something I look out for in cream products all the time. When I first got this, I thought, oh my God, it's so small. I'm gonna fly through it. But you really only need a tiny amount. And I have had this for quite a while now and I use it so consistently and it doesn't even look like I've made a dent in it. This product would have to have the best shade range out of all of them as well. There are so many unique colors to choose from and you are bound to find something that you will like. The formula is beautiful. It's really easy to work with. The shade range is fantastic. The longevity is fantastic. It is a beautiful product. The only thing is that it is one of the more expensive ones from my range. So if you are after a more affordable option, I think the e.l.f. blush in Bora Bora is a really great dupe. This one here is e.l.f. and this one here is Fenty. As you can see, there's just a slight difference in the shade, but they perform pretty similarly. 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 That doesn't sound right. Similary. S similar. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh my God. <laughs> I just think that the Fenty has a little bit more of a glow to it. All right. Well, they are all my cream blushes ranked from best to worst. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I create a ton of content related to drugstore makeup, specifically Australian drugstore makeup and what we can get over here in Australia. So make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram and also TikTok. I've been posting so much on TikTok. It is just so fun for me right now. <laughs> I would love to know what your favorite cream blushes are. So please leave me a comment down below letting me know and we can all have a little chat throughout the comments. I absolutely love that. That is all from me. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.